just want to encourage you. The plan and purpose of God for your life will come to pass. But I assure you, God says the Lord, I will bring to pass the plan and purpose for which I created you. Put your trust in God and it will come to pass. God's time is the best and it's now shall I. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered, and there shall be holiness, and the ass of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Or by their 117. Welcome to Zion Covenant Ministries, where we practice what we preach. Sunday service, 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Bible study and prayers is on Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays is deliverance and welfare prayer between 7.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. Every second Friday of every month is Holy Ghost Miracle Night. Starting from 9 p.m. Host Pastor Bridget Israel. Come, let's worship and praise God together at 2340 Baca Oaks Drive, Suit 600, Eastern Texas, 77077. Telephone 281 575 7700. Website SionBreadOfLife.org. Join us today. to Bridget and you. Pastor Bridget and you saying, beloved, welcome to a topic that you cannot afford to miss. Stop whatever you are doing and listen to it. It's about jealousy as a killer. Jealousy. Jealousy. Envy. When you envy somebody, when you are jealous of somebody, it can kill, it can destroy. Hear me, in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, we're talking about the, the fruits of the, of, the, of the flesh, the works of the flesh. They call them the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh are killer. And one of the greatest ones is this jealousy, is envy, is, is you uh, uh, looking at somebody with an evil eye and wanting what that person has or who that person be ought to be you, ought to be your children, ought to be your brother or sister. It ought to be jealousy as a killer. It is a big killer, my darling. You don't have to be jealous of anyone because God has destined you to be great. You don't have a, 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 a duplicate. You are unique. You are original. And whatever is yours will be yours. So for me, I don't care what anybody has. I know that whatever God has destined for me. So there's no need for jealousy. Jealousy has broken homes, has broken God divine marriages that were put together by God because the husband is jealous of the wife and succeeding or the wife jealous of the husband or family it put them asunder. Jealousy has caused brother and sisters not to greet one another. Jealousy has broken good friends, bosom friend, you, you call best friend. Jealousy put you people asunder. Jealousy has put even pastors Pastors, men and women of God, not to be at terms with one another. That's why we have too many denominations, too many churches, and we are going nowhere. Whereas if we had come together and believe in one another and support one another, we can do better. Jealousy has caused, oh God, boss to be jealous of their sister who is more qualified or intelligent. The jealousy has caused colleague at work to be uh, jealous of the other for fear that that person might take over. Jealousy has even caused neighbors not to appreciate one another. Jealousy is a killer. It's a destroyer. It's an epidemic among human beings that we must kill it. We must destroy it. Listen, learn to celebrate people when they achieve. Learn to celebrate when they testify, when they get their breakthrough, when they get their believe in, the, in, in in celebrating others when they are lifted because what you make happen to others God will make happen for you don't be jealous of one another I want to assure you, let me give you a story there's this story of two sisters, blood sister, one father one mother and one got engaged, the second one got engaged and the first one didn't even have a boyfriend and then the day of the, the marriage the marriage proper where they are coming to do the traditional in Africa we pay bride price you know the, the, the family of the boy is coming to do the traditional for the sister do you know that the big sister out of jealousy out of jealousy set the Gino sister on fire and she died 
She didn't have to do that because her own was coming. And among the people that were coming to marry the Genesis, that there was a man there that was saying that after they do the knock door of the Geno one, he too will come and marry the Sino one. Why do we have to do that? Many of the things that we have done that are evil before God is either perpetrated by the works of the flesh or jealousy. Please, I beg you, kill it. If you have it in you, repent of it and ask God to forgive you. In one way or the other, every one of us have done it, including me talking to you. There were times I was jealous. Oh, why don't I have uh, a big car? Why don't I have a big house? But those things, I have them now and they've not made anything in my life because things don't make you. You make things. Don't be jealous of what others have. Because of jealousy, we've gotten into unnecessary, unhealthy competition. I know one of my daughters that because of this, this one had a seven-bedroom house. I can I must also get it. This one has built this in their home. I too must be because of that. She's working two, three jobs. She works without rest. And if you look at her life now, she looks very haggard and tattered because. She's trying to compete. What prompted that unnecessary, unhealthy competition was jealousy. It's jealous that that person have what she doesn't have. Look at your fingers. All these fingers are not the same. Yet each one is manifesting their purpose. And each one is as important as the other one. Hear me, child of God. You don't need to get what others have because God has your own for you. Cut your cloth. Cut your coat according to your cloth. Don't imitate others. Don't even copy others. You are unique. God created you and given you your uniqueness. Look at your fingerprint. Nobody has it. Even if you are twins, you are unique. And because you are unique, you will get what God has destiny. Don't be jealous. Don't enter into unnecessary, unhealthy competition. Stop jealousy. Start loving. Start celebrating. And start making others know that you genuinely celebrate their achievement. For what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Please, I'm telling you, there's no reason for jealousy because jealousy is a destroyer. It's a killer. From today, we repent from jealousing one another and we begin to celebrate one another. I start by celebrating you. Pastor Bridget and you says congratulations. God bless you. See you next time. Same station. Shalom. Pastor Bridget and you.